I'm about to go so beauty guru. Hey guys, it's Wendy. Welcome back to my channel. So today I thought it'd be really fun to do a chit chat, get ready with me, work makeup routine. So kind of doing my makeup routine for work and just updating you guys on my life. I know some of you guys are newer subscribers here. My 2019 goal really has been to try to film more videos and more authentic and real videos. We will just see what comes to my mind. I don't even have an outline for what I'm gonna talk about. If you don't know who I am and this is the first video you're watching, hey, I'm Wendy, I live in San Francisco, I work in tech and I'm also a new grad. So if any of those things interest you, then be sure to follow along and subscribe down below. My channel is all about sort of allowing people to watch me grow and fail and go through typical adulting situations and problems. And I'm just trying to film all of it. And hopefully it might help some people out there they're struggling with moving to a new city or figuring out whether or not they want to live in San Francisco. I am going to start with this Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. This has been rated one of the best primers. And so just to help your makeup stay all day, I have extremely oily and greasy skin. So it's basically impossible for any foundation to stay on by the end of the day. I definitely have found that this primer has helped a lot with the staying power. So, okay, now I'm using the Fenty Beauty Foundation. I love this foundation. First of all, packaging is amazing. Rihanna is queen. There's a bunch of different shades and it's a very long wear matte foundation. So it's great for people with oily skin like me. So I've been living here for around six months. I've had a lot of ups and downs living here. When I first moved here, I was in the honeymoon phase. Obviously I thought everything was super shiny and new and fun. I was meeting all these people. I was going out, putting myself out there. And then I kind of got into, I would say around my third and fourth month here, I kind of got into the complacency phase in which I was less willing to put myself out there to meet new people. And yeah, and those two months were kind of a weird, I guess, time for me because I was very strongly considering potentially moving to LA, which I know is crazy because I had been in the city for two months at that point. Oh, by the way, I'm using this concealer by Revlon. It's a stick concealer. It's super, super thick, really good coverage. During those couple of months, I actually met up with a couple of YouTubers, uh, Anne-Marie, Chase, Shelby Church, and Maureen Yates. So I basically was kind of doing side work for uh, Shelby and Anne-Marie's startup called Shutter, And I was just kind of talking to them up, up about LA and asked them to spill the tea. I am really interested in content creation, not really doing YouTube full time or anything, but I've always really been into social media. I just used this Revlon Color Stay powder. So I guess talking to them, it just made me really excited to have people who were kind of pursuing similar interests as me and people who are able to relate and understand because I feel a lot of my friends out here at work in tech, tech is the norm. I'm using this meat matrimony love this eyeshadow this eyeshadow is my go-to for work or interviews or anything that's a little bit more business related because it's just a very simple matte purple i think after meeting them i just had this idea in my head that i really want to move to los angeles because they are the hub for content creation and media and things like that you know there are people who are interested in that creative type work out here it's just far and few between because everybody, almost everyone kind of comes here for tech. Everyone is almost a transplant here and came here for the purpose of tech. So I guess like those two months, I subconsciously just stopped putting myself out there out here because I just didn't think I would be staying here for very long. I wasn't actively trying to do that, but I think that's just how I subconsciously felt. And then something shifted when the new year came. So this was the next two months. I came back from Hawaii with my family and felt very rejuvenated and just really ready to take on the new year. So I think the past two months is when San Francisco has really felt like home. It's just, I think something shifted within me to actually want to make this place my home because I have grown to love the city. And yes, it has cons and I know it's expensive. It's one of the most expensive cities to live. There are, there are definitely cons of the city and I'm fully aware of them. I just use this um, Lancome mascara, the Dinfinicillus. It's pretty good. It doesn't really hold a coat that well, 
but for work i'm not trying to have my eyelashes be super in your face it's just a one dollar elf eyelash curl it's a little bit dirty right now but i love it and it does the job there are definitely things i think the local government can do better on and things that they're trying to improve that just it doesn't seem like there's been visible change yet but despite that, I think in general, I have had a really positive experience living out here. And I've been very lucky to be able to afford living out here. I'm not like swimming in money. I literally just graduated and most postgrads, you're not making bank, but I saved up a lot of money before I came here. I've gotten no support from my parents actually since I've been out here. I have been paying for everything on my own. I have a pretty comfortable life. You know, I live in a pretty nice apartment in a pretty nice area. I will say I've been very, very fortunate to have my parents be able to help me with my higher education. So that's not something I'm dealing with currently. My parents are both Chinese immigrants, if you weren't aware, but they worked really, really hard to get to where they are. My dad literally came to America with $20 in his pocket. He always loves telling that story. I've been very fortunate, but it's not without their sacrifices and every day I'm extremely grateful for them and how hard they've worked. So I'm just trying to, you know, make them proud. So I'm using this NYX eyebrow pencil. I've been using two eyebrow pencils kind of on and off. This NYX one, which is just in the color black, and then the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow is in ebony. I had such a identity crisis. I feel like moving out here and being exposed to so many people who look like me. If you didn't know, there's a lot of Asians in the Bay and it's been really cool because I've always grown up being one of the very few people of color in a space. And it's really cool to not be like that here and have people who look like you, but it's also just a very interesting change, I guess. So I, I feel like I have not finished any of my thoughts because I'm really, really going off. You guys are really seeing how I actually talk and think now. So this is a blush, blush palette that I got. It's on sale. It was supposed to be the Tarte Christmas collection. Now I'm going to be using the Olivia Jade Highlighting Palette. It's really great because I think it suits a bunch of different skin tones. As you can see, I'm kind of just doing a normal makeup routine because I do work at a very chill techie environment so people are very free to dress however they want to do their makeup however they want some things i do love about san francisco is i constantly feel inspired here you never know who you're gonna meet i have been in ubers where i've literally met the ceos of big companies small companies i've reached out to a ton of creatives out here like i said far and few but i think because of that people are really really down to me and really open people out here in general are just very open and chill so i normally like to go for a very very natural lip if any lip color at all this is one lipstick that i've been really liking to use for work this is from tarte it's called rum punch these lipsticks are super super moisturizing they don't stay on very long but they just feel very comfortable on the lips and this color is very natural looking normally i think Although I'm an extroverted person, I meeting new people kind of gives me anxiety sometimes. I've done that a lot here and I've had really positive experiences almost every time and made friends in that way. That's basically it for my work makeup routine. It's very, very minimalistic. My makeup style in general is I like to keep it more on the are you even wearing makeup vibes. So yeah, this is kind of what I go to work with and I don't literally even know if I finished any of the topics that I talked about but that is just how I normally work. I think a lot and just go through a lot of different subjects in my head in a short amount of time. So I really hoped you enjoyed watching me get ready for work. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today. Yeah, so I'll see you next time. Bye.